Welcome to another edition of Smart Chat here on YouTube.com. I hope all is well. I do want to do a quick football video for you guys. Uh, my recap here on my beloved Miami Dolphins. 14 to 10, defeating the St. Louis Rams. And I'll try to make this quick. You know, uh, the analysis, some of my thoughts here. We were down by 10 in the fourth uh, quarter. Gase and Tannehill orchestrated two straight two straight touchdown drives to uh, take the lead. Woo! Ryan Tannehill. Wow. 14 to 10. We beat Jared Goff and the St. Louis Rams, man. The, uh, the quarterback for St. Louis there, Goff, he was flustered. Uh, you know, uh, looking at this team, the Dolphins, we still f have an uphill battle, you know, to secure a wild card spot. You know, you got competition from Denver Broncos, Kansas City Chiefs, AFC West. But this a win is a win. It will continue the momentum. Um, it continues our win streak. But we also uh, swept uh, we swept our trip on the West Coast despite two matchups, which were obvious trap game potential. We're heading back to South Beach in Miami as one of the hottest teams right now in the NFL. And that's, you know, give it up for Ryan Tannehill. Woo! But for much of the game, Ryan Tannehill was a disaster. The offensive line was beaten up, but that's not an excuse. The Dolphins fell back and into the play calling and lack of execution that ruined them in close games earlier in the season. Tannehill was making questionable decisions throughout the evening and attempted to force the ball into tight windows on more than one occasion. Look okay, at more than one. Interception. On an overthrow of Parker was perhaps the worst play, uh, worst play of the damn game. And something happened in the fourth quarter. Okay, protection still wasn't great, but he was decisive and didn't allow the pressure to get to him. Um, you know, despite having to almost completely abandon the run due to the late deficit, you now Tannehill was able to get to Parker. And Landry involved for the first time of the matchup. Another, uh, you know, and we got another comeback. What can you say? We got a comeback for this team. And now, where do you go from here? You know, and, and Tannehill really didn't do much of the game, but came alive in the fourth quarter, which, you know, needed to be done. Um, the running back, the J train there. His stats, they haven't been as impressive as his last two, uh, as his, uh, you know, two, you know, straight 200-yard performances. But he had 77 rushing yards, 4.8 average per carry. You might think it's a little disappointment been looking at how great he's been running the last couple weeks. But he, he's been nearly unstoppable. Defenses, they either need a, a perfectly executed tackle or a full-fledged group pursuit you know, to the ball to take this man down. He runs through arm tackles, bounces off flat-footed defenders, and explodes through a hole any time he's providing one. He continued to do the same. Uh, while the passing game has been a complete mess in the first half, J Train there kept trudging along. Slow down after halftime, though. He has been the Dolphins' savior throughout this entire season so far. Um, he continues to be a bright spot. Offers a ton of optimism, I think, for the season and beyond. Um, you know, <clears throat> when you're looking at the uh, the wide receivers there, 
Um, what can you say? Um, the offensive line struggles forced them to abandon the, the route tree that had been so successful during the win streak. Uh, but the top two wideouts came through and it was absolutely uh, mattered the most. Kenny Stills, um, a ton of trouble converting his targets into completions. Can't uh, ignore that. Um, Landry, uh, five catches, 28 yards, played a vital um, part in the comeback, was 10-yard touchdown. Parker, impressive game, 79-yard uh, day, eight catches for 79. So it's a pretty impressive uh, game for um, for Parker. Uh the secondary, as far as the offensive line, okay. Offensive line was injury played again, and it's been a constant te uh, a theme um, yeah, over the last few seasons. Uh, once Tunzel left the uh, left the action, uh, in Miami in Miami only really had two healthy starters left. At the line of scrimmage. Results obviously weren't pretty. Tannehill was sacked four times. Pressured into countless mistakes. In the first three quarters. Sam Young and. Bushrod there. Were among those victimized by. Uh, LA's. Uh, talented defensive line. Um, you know got off to a solid start. As far as run blocking. But even that aspect of the game seemed to deteriorate as time ticked off the uh, clock. J-Train was stuffed several times in the second half, which made it uh, all the more surprising that Tannehill, I think, was able to find the success he did despite the lack of a run game. Uh, the secondary really wasn't that impressive. So it's a little worrisome that the uh, defensive backfield was unable to, to capitalize on a rookie quarterback making his first career start. So that's something that I would just, you know, want to comment on. Special teams, it's becoming a worry. Uh, really happened this game as well. Andrew Franks and Matt Dar are consistent in a punt and kick games. The return game continues to be a complete disaster. Landry had about one yard on his punt return. Uh, in terms of the kick return game, game no one really seems to know where to take it out of the end zone or or to take it uh, or to take a knee so that's worrisome as well again this week um it, this team although we pulled out a win again i'll say it we continue to be plagued by silly undisciplined unforced errors and it's gotta stop it's really gotta stop Hope all is well. Miami Dolphins win. That's five in a row. Until next time.